Welcome to another episode of Master Roulette. Each week, MBT and I spin a wheel featuring every secret pack in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel to determine which packs we get to open. We then build decks using only 20 of those packs and play a match to determine the winner. Tune in every Saturday for more episodes of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Roulette. Welcome back to another episode of Master Roulette. What a disaster that last episode was. Don't go into the Gradle pack, guys. Uh, so here we go. Worst the first... mistake of my life. You should have opened, I think if you'd opened 60 packs, it would have solved all the yeah, problems. Yeah, we it was just like 20 packs away. You know, just keep opening yeah, yeah. until I pull the impacts and then it would all be fixed. We'll never know. Neo oh. Okay, you, I'm forcing you to take <laughs> No, come on, dog. I'm no, I'm not, sure I'm not. this one is not good. Neo Space right, let me, Comrades. Let me see what's in this pack. Are you kidding? You're gonna pass. Neos is one of your comrades favorite monsters, too. and you're gonna pass up this pack. Are you kidding me right now? All right. Okay. So, uh, oh, <laughs> this is one of those sets that relies on Elemental Hero Neos, but it's a UR. Yeah, this does um, have two Neos included. I don't know if that makes it like yeah. any better because it doesn't have any of the new Neos support, but. Uh, yeah, it does so, have two I mean, this set is um, basically a whole bunch of unplayably <laughs> bad Neos fusions and then a bunch of cards that facilitate the unplayably bad Neos fusions. It doesn't so, have any of the, like, hero flash or anything that might make it work. Respawn? Like, listen, I love heroes, but there is just no way. This, yeah, I think that's going to be left to now. one of the last packs, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Here we go. Even with the two extra copies of Neos, uh, the Dark Mission and Blue Eyes pack are way more playable. I don't... No. Oh, maybe Mechlord. Um, what's the other archetype in that pack? I don't this even... is adding Mister, I bet. Oh, yeah, yeah, I bet you're right. AI Omniscience. Uh, this is adding Mister. Yeah. So we've got all the little freaks. Uh, <laughs> and then, ooh, this is actually kind of scary. Yeah. Um, Ignister Island is a super in this set, and you really do need it. Yep. Uh, and you don't start getting Link monsters until Super as well. Uh, Fire Phoenix, uh, Dark Infant, Wind Pegasus is a decent thing to climb okay. into. Uh, Water Leviathan at common, though. Maybe we'll just play Water Leviathan Control. I Are like there any other archetypes in there, or just the Ignister? No, it's just at Ignister. Okay, that's a pretty cool pack. I will go with my first spin here. And I do have, you know, some secret packs pulled up on my phone so I can look up the cards before I commit. Oh, Scrap Iron I Soldiers. What this one is. Wait. Is it Scrap? Is it? Because Scrap Iron. Oh, wait. It's actually not. It's yeah, it's a, a quick draw. It's the quick draw set. Yeah. Um... So this one's hard, actually. It's got some interesting stuff. Uh, Lightning Warrior rare, Junk Berserker rare. Uh, it's got all the like Quill Bolt and Hyper Synchron and stuff at common. But I'm not really seeing um, any good synchros. I mean, Lightning yeah, Warrior is like okay. I guess, don't show but up until you are. <laughs> you are is where Speeder um, and Archer Destroyer are. I don't. I don't think so. Wait, I don't in think fact, it's... hold up. Is Quick Draw not in this set? No, that's it's in a not. different pack. This isn't the Synchron no. pack, it's the Junk pack. So no, I'm gonna pass this one. <laughs> junk is uh, right. Yeah, there's like, oh, that. No. those archetypes, Synchron, Stardust, and Junk are spread across like three different packs. Natural, Natural Selection. selection. <gasps> it's Evos, this is Evo, I, I guarantee it. We don't play ones like this in, uh, in Master Saga. I, I uh, guarantee it's Evo, okay. I'm oh, gonna... it is very much not Evo. <gasps> oh my it? God. It's Preda Plant. Wait, there's like another weird archetype in it's there, isn't it? It's Preda Plant Cubic. Preda Plant Cubic, the two antagonist oh, archetypes. Oh. I guess that's why they're together. <laughs> okay. I, I literally could not fathom why these two are together. Uh, there's some good stuff in this set, yeah. and like Vjom is a rare and is Super just annoying. Spirit Reaper. Yeah. But. Yeah, I don't really know what the game plan of this archetype is. You don't get fusions <sighs> till super, but you only need oh, one. Man. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. Okay, so here's what Doug doesn't know. I'm just kidding. There's nothing particularly interesting about this one. Um, this is going to be determined by our high end. As you can see, if we pull a Fire Phoenix, we're Gucci. If we pull like Light Dragon or uh, Dark Templar, we're Gucci. Otherwise, we're playing like Earth Golem, Water, Leviathan, Turbo, which is still maybe enough. Doug's pack is, I mean, it's real bad. Uh oh. Uh, notably, like generic link twos are crazy too. Like if we just put like generic link twos, we'll be fine. Dire reference. That water leviathan's a big pickup. Hmm. 
Sukiyomi might uh, find a slot in the deck regardless. No, not the SR we were hoping for, but we'll take it. Um, now if we pull the field spell, we have really easy access to it. That's a super. Oh, this one came out. Field spell? Question mark? Oh, whoa, this really came out. Wow. Happy Pride. Happy Women's History Month. Feliz Navidad. Win Pegasus at Ignister. We can make this work. Now we just need the field spell and we're done in six. Okay, that's another child. I don't think Rainbow Life is going to do too much. Uh, hmm. Another Fire Phoenix. That's really good. Don't need that. We're pulling a lot of high end, I will say. I, you know, I'm the first to, we are, we are pulling a lot of high end. Okay, that's um, more what I was expecting. I'm going to be honest, I think we kind of need some low end. Like we need some, like, Picari. Oh shit, that's actually really important. That's a great card to pull. Do Doshin, alright, Arrival? Much better. Wow, that is just a win con on its own. I meet you. Very good card. Very, very good card. Still hoping for the field spell. Okay, promising first 10. I'm not going to lie. This could go really well. If we find the uh, the field spell in the next 10, I think we are good to, good to go. So here's what MET doesn't know. I have never read a Cubit card in my entire life. I have played against the deck a couple times on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro, I guess, but uh, I never actually have played it myself. I only know like the main boss monster and the level four kind of, but uh, yeah, so I really don't know what those cards do. And also I don't really know what the Preta plant cards do too much, but I do know what Anaconda does and Preta practice is incredibly powerful. Did not realize that this was a uh, rare. That's actually pretty strong. Salmon Great Roar as a uh, random super as well, but we will see what happens. We will see what happens. I will uh, try to read these cards and do my best, but uh, let's be real, this is maybe not gonna, oh, okay. Mount Sylvania is here to remind me of the last time that I really didn't read the archetype. Maybe uh, that's a reminder to read the cards. Oh my gosh, okay, a lot of these hollows are not from the pack. Xyz Encore, not quite good enough. We have Cubic Dharma. So I believe these cards have like graveyard effects, but I don't really know what we can do with them in combination with the Preta Plants. We can try to fusion summon some cards using dark monsters. I believe the Cubics are darks and the Preta Plants are darks, but gosh, we're going to have to, I don't even know how we're going to read all this. <laughs> in what... It's going to be, we're just going to have to like speed run the reading and then just throw the deck together. It'll be something. We do not have unlimited time here on the Master Roulette. Draco Stapelia, I mean, that is like the best pickup ever. One fusion monster plus one dark monster. We do have access to three copies of Polymerization, so don't forget that. But that is like probably our main win condition. Ready upgrade, maybe? Toon Briefcase. Okay, nothing. Oh, that one seems really bad. I guess maybe that's like the good part. We can just read some of the uh, first sentences in these cards, and if they're really terrible, we can just cut them. Because I feel like in Cubics, they never play any of the monsters besides, like, the three main ones. Another Cubic Dharma. A playset of Cubic Dharma. Is this a good card? Yeah, seems really cracked, actually. So, that's good to pick up. <laughs> I will definitely take that. Yeah, I mean, that's, like, a huge consistency boost. Very good, very good. Zolga the Prophet. Um, wait, these aren't even dark. These are... Why is this a beast light? This looks nothing like a... Okay, whatever. I don't know. Can someone explain it to me? What are the cubics? I saw the movie and I still don't understand what they are. Gear Gear Armor. Uh, okay. Okay, I don't need four of those. We're not playing magic. Uh, can we summon this? Curse of Dragon? The, I mean, maybe. <laughs> one warrior monster plus one level five or higher dragon monster. We might legitimately be able to make that. Rarity upgrade. Okay, okay. Oh, that's maybe playable. And Cubic Karma, another good pickup. Not a bad first 10 packs. I'm actually pretty impressed, but uh, I think we're still looking for a win condition in the next 10 packs. Commons and the field spell, commons and the field spell, and probably the Earth guy. What? Well, this is commons. You know, I don't really know what to say about that. That's why you 
Not really the commons we were looking for. Thank you. Be proud of who you are. A pack that contains an ultra rare for no reason. All right, what do we got? Another Picari, great news. And Earth Golem. A second Light Dragon, you shouldn't have. Lost Wind, a huge pickup, too. All right, we are still looking for the field spell, though. Boo. That's our third Hiari. Um, looking for more Achichi. We're really just looking for more Achichi here. Mm, we got Dragoonity Night. That's our first Doyon. I'd forgotten he was in there. And the field spell. Uh, did not have uh, did not have more than one Doshin, so that's big too. Huh? Huh? All right, whatever. Huh? Another I meet you? Yeah, sure. I don't know. This is gonna be a hard one to really place. Third Picari, that's big, but yeah, we we're swimming in Danmari. We need another Achichi. We need more Doyon. We got two packs. We need a Chi-Chi's. We need Doyon. And of course, we need the field spell. We've needed the field spell this entire time. Ferret Flame's pretty funny. That's our third Hiari. No, that's our fourth Hiari. Second, a Chi-Chi. Big deal. Big deal. All right, this one does have a hollow in it. We just needed to be the field spell, I think. Man, that's rough. Hmm. So... Rough that we pulled two Dark Infant at Ignister and none of the field spell, but I do think we still have the material to make this work. Like, I, I still feel pretty confident about this one for sure. Okay, so we are missing a fair amount of commons, and we really need to pull, like, some of these high rarity cubic cards to have a chance. Like, the cubic vessel is really important, and we can get a boss monster with Crimson Nova if we get that. But we will see here. Ten more packs. We're not cheating this week. Don't worry. We have, uh, okay, five hollows at least. Okay, okay. Yeah, if we can't get that level four, it's going to be tough. But uh, maybe this card is fine. Gosh, they all just require you to send, like, cubics on board to the grave. That is, like, really tough. Nothing. Vampire Ghost. That's what MBT did out last week. Although, I guess he didn't, because <laughs> his deck was already good enough. Well, 13. Oh, my gosh. Okay, there are so many good URs. Almost any of them are really playable for our deck. Another Draco Stapelia. Chimera Wafflesia. Um, This card is good, right? I actually don't really know it's on field effect. I only know it's graveyard effect, but it seems okay. It seems very generically summonable. One Pride of Plant plus one Dark Monster. So that's what it's good for. Pack number four. Cupid Pitch. That's kind of funny. <laughs> okay, five copies of Cubic Dharma. Just what we wanted. So right now we have, like, yeah, a fair amount of, like, decent fusions. I'm actually pretty excited about this. Um, I think we might have a playable strategy. Because, like, several of the Predoplant cards either, like, add Palmerization or they are just Palmerization, I'm pretty sure. So, we'll have pretty easy access to some of those fusions. Trigodia is a good pickup. Like, the Predoplant cards are good. Like, they have seen competitive play, but I don't know. I don't know. We don't have, like, the full engine. Also, we're kind of missing, like, some key parts for the Cubic deck, so I'm hoping to see a level 4 monster. That's crazy. That's insane. That is also, well... I guess this is three dark monsters on the field, but maybe playable, but Eccentric is like either Exiled Force or MST, which is insane. And then we finally pulled the Doza or Doza. I don't know how you pronounce it, but that was like probably the best pack we've seen so far, besides maybe the double Karma pack. Knight Draco Lich, that's kind of funny. Greater po Starving Venom, Predaplant or, okay. So that pack was kind of crazy. Wow, how, what are the odds? of pulling greater palm right like this card's good right i don't know maybe not we don't have like a three material card besides one that only uses monsters on the field but hmm. the other two pulls are crazy pack number nine okay oh verte in the greater poly is pretty funny that is true and <laughs> book of taiyu and the sixth cubic dharma why not um Let's get to deck building. I need to read some cards. Okay, this is looking pretty good. I really don't have anything to say outside of that. 
Um, we didn't pull the field spell, which is kind of frustrating, but outside of that, we've got like a constructed quality adding Nister deck. No Dark Templar, which of course is, is a little frustrating, uh, but I think we will be playing Water Leviathan Control, uh, Earth Golem Control. Uh, we could play, you know, Gussy Beatdown, and I think we'd be fine against what Doug's packing. Uh, I love it. Looks consistent, looks powerful, uh, looks like a clean 2-0. Okay, here's the deck. We have at least read through all of these cards one or two times, but uh, we are basically maxing out on all of the good cards for the Preda and Cubic Archetypes. We do have a number of good staple cards. We have Trigodia, Archina Centric, even Cap Shell is pretty useful in this deck. We can use it for a Link Summon of Anaconda and draw a card, or we can use it for a Fusion Summon, which is pretty funny as well. I think this deck actually should be pretty good if I can figure out how the cards work, but like I said, it's my first time using them, so it might be a little bit difficult, especially in game one. Let's get into the match though and see what happens. So I haven't read any of these cards. Well, okay, I read them for the first time in the deck builder. But So what's uh what's new, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I've at least like played the archetype, but I haven't read the cards recently. This is a case where I haven't Oh gosh. That's really strange because um... you also were done in like 5 minutes. Like for the cards are just so home, good. Well, it was easy Doug because like 90% of the cubic cards just got discarded immediately. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're just garbage. Yeah. Oh, we got the dual and D's here. Oh, man, I don't even know. This oh is like my actually too God. much. Oh, my God. Wow, this. Holy shit, a moly. Um, this deck's crazy. No, 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 no. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm just going to chill. I think I'm just going to chill. I, I don't want to. I think I'm just going to see what you're going to do. I think I'm just going to. Mm, just go ahead. Just go ahead. I see. Or this was my full combo. Whoa. <laughs> no, no, don't start. Yeah, okay, we're, don't we're, start. Don't start. There's no. Foremost, if I, you this, pulled this enough cards to do the uh, big combo, I am going to scream. <laughs> we we uh, don't have yeah. a rival side. We're setting Mister. Don't. Okay, worry. that's good. That's good. I know how to do the combo. Right. But I I, I don't play this deck like you do in TCG. All right, we are going to grab bands. Eyes Ritual. You're... Oh, gosh. Yeah. 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 Well, one of these assholes is at Common, and it is Water Leviathan at Water Mister. Leviathan, yeah. Uh, um, I thought about doing okay. this in Main Phase 2 to bounce what I expect to be V-Jom, but I'm pretty sure oh. Whoa. that it doesn't matter because you would just set it again. Yeah, I'll just leave it there. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Does this guy have another effect? I'm going to have your attack. Oh. Um, do I care about negating this card's effect? Probably not. Probably not. Yeah, no, that's fine. Okay. Okay, we're going to activate the other effect of Picariotic Nister. Yeah. And then uh, <gasps> I suppose it's time to summon... The fire guy? The light dragon at Ignister. Oh, what's this do? Uh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Charge for destroy face of monsters. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Um, Get him out of here. Yeah, pop that. Sure. All right. Yeah, seems like a pretty good trade on my part. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It worked, it worked out. I draw. What is... Okay, sure. Yeah, I'm sure this just works and gets there. Let's go Orphus okay. Scorpio. That's that's something. Let's discard this. Another V jump. Yeah. I mean, it has to just. This is just the TCG one, so I'm sure it's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, cause now it's my turn. Yeah, so I can do. <clears throat> oh, if only, if only. Yeah, what we'll Polly? Okay. Oh God. Um, and then I think we are going for activate Polly. Oh God. What's and the here? oh man, I think this. Yeah. Is Ambula Melodies in this pack? Um, I don't know, but this is. Oh wow. Okay. Well. We got the Starving Venom activate effect. Oh boy. Oh, Target God. this. Um, let me just That's make sure this doesn't have boy. some BS effect. Yup, yup. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, let's go battle phase. Tackling 51. 28. 
set this. Go ahead. All right, heart of the cards guide me. Wow, disastrous. That's so bad. For me? For me. Oh, okay. Hmm. What? Um. Okay. Oh. We got greedy chat. Oh, we got okay. greedy. I think if I knew what one of the Predo Plant cards did off top of my head, I think I would have Leaply. I feel like I can just try. Yeah, I'll just try. Surely that. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, normal summon. Let's go activate Predo Oh my Plant. god. Now, there isn't the good target in this pack, um, like the, the really good target. But there is this that we can send. Um, this card is not free. Banish from other target card of field. No, not that effect. So that'll give that. And then we can go special this, tributing this. Oh, Jesus. That is a monster. And then, wait, what is the on field effect? Oh, that's just game 500. Grab. Broken. I can mix up, lose Oh 500. my God, come on. Um, Man, that isn't unfortunate, but you know, it is what it is. We'll go oh, this. Oh God. Yeah, no We're dead. Did. I think so, yeah. <laughs> Let's go activate this. <laughs> Let's go, yep, here. You'll see another card, I guess, but we have to go into it. I summon Beretta oh, Plant Chimera God. Rafflesia. Um, nope. And I'll go Battle Phase. Attack. Wow. Uh, Next game. Holy shit. Beretta yeah. Plant's OP. Oh, are you going first or second? Uh, I will go second. Okay. Just want the extra card? Yeah. That's fair, that's fair. All right, let's see what epic turn one combo I have this time. Uh oh, yeah, no, this is, this, I, this looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Um, okay. Let's go activate cubic Dharma. Yeah. Let's activate cubic Dharma discarding karma. What the fuck? You um, pulled all the good cards. These are all <laughs> high rarity. Let's, they're only supers. They're only supers. They're only supers. Let's uh, banish that and yeah, yeah. I think we're just adding this. Let's add in the 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 does a or how do you pronounce this card? Or well, how do you pronounce this card? Doza? I always said Dooza. Dooza. Okay, okay. I'm just normal summoning this to you know get it out there. I will send another super. By the way. Yeah, I'm actually just going to put this in Grave to add this back. And then I'll just set one and go ahead. Because, yep. There you go. Could have done, like, a, a different play there, but I don't think it's actually Picari, Picari, so. Picari, Picari, Picari. Not white my tempo. Oh, the Tootsie Roll guy. Okay, okay. We did not pull the field spell. No fucking way. Really? Oh my gosh. That feels like DZ Fluck over there, <laughs> but uh, you know what happens? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Yes, it does. So I can, I can go Brazy or I cannot. Okay, I am. I'm gonna do it. Uh, we will activate. Eyes yeah, ritual. Reborn. Oh, the ritual again. Okay. Yep. Yes, once more. Um, yep. We're going to summon Water Leviathan Adagnister. So it only bounces mine, right? Yeah, because you had a monster when you. Yeah, yeah. What is that? <laughs> the big sword? <laughs> what is that? Gusari. Um, yeah. 
And we're gonna go, I love Yuzhin. Uh, whoa. What yeah. is the fusion here? I, I guess I'm finding out. I guess I'm gonna discover. Huh? What happens? I thought this card was Eyes Ritual. I can't take it back. They're not gonna let me. Okay. Oh boy. Oh wow. no. <laughs> so if I'd done it the other way, I could have ended on this guy plus Water Leviathan. But I didn't. Yes. Okay. Yep. There he goes. All right, uh, back to you. Okay, okay. Yeah. Let's draw just what I wanted. Um, okay. I think I'll start by activating this. Yeah. Banishing yeah. the Dharma. Add back this guy. Yeah, it's fine. Get him back in hand, and then, well, I'll, I'll be, I'll be smart. I'll be smart. Activate Archina oh, Centric. Oh, sure. <laughs> Dude, this deck's crazy. Well, Archina Centric. Where, where did Archina Centric come from? Oh, uh, just, in the just outside the pack. What Lost Wind? Oh shit! Wait, that's oh, oh rare! Oh my goodness <laughs> gracious! Oh my god! Yeah, let's activate this. Can you brick in this deck full of cubics, please? <laughs> Um, well, let's let's get rid of that guy. Let's go. Can this really just? Yeah, it really just can tribute that, and it doesn't even banish itself. What the okay, fuck? We were we were not winning this one. That who, that misplay cost. Who made this nothing. Hydra card? Well, I guess I do this. Does that fit this? Yeah. No. Get rid for of sure. seed. Okay. Yeah. Yep. That's that's just what I wanted. Phase. Yeah, I think it is legitimately just activate fusion. Oh my god, we are just fucking dead. We are dead here. No, 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 you're fine. <laughs> you're fine. You're fine. Uh, oh, I guess I'm saving this. I don't really know why. I don't think I should have. Using v -jom. Oh, sure. For the Reflezia. Yeah, yeah. Let's go Reflezia. And then I'll... At least we get lost uh, one here. Nope. Yeah, Lawson resets itself. I'll go normal summon the... the yeah, no. Let's oh my god, shockingly, uh, having this. the extra guy on board would have done flat nothing. Wait, oh, you couldn't have drawn Ascension, huh? <laughs> Ooh, but but consider this. You shouldn't attack me so that you can trigger the Ascension. Right, right, right. That's true, that's true. I think I'm just going to attack. <laughs> what the fuck I do from this position? Um, I don't know, but I believe, I believe. Uh, I, I can't even beat Kamir Rafflesio. Uh, uh, this card's insane. Go ahead. Yeah, because it like floats into any poly. Okay, or that spell. is like the best draw in my deck. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Hold up. <laughs> One card. What could. Like, Reborn, okay, I that's guess? Not, that's not bad. I'm not going to lie. Oh, man. Fighting Spirit. I don't even know. Oh, wait. So that brings back the golem yes yes this card attacks oh i see okay wait <laughs> um all right we're just gonna simplify this okay this card. yeah i don't actually I'm, yeah, because mine activates on attack declaration, so... I, or, no, it doesn't. When attack is declared... Yeah, I think you it always would have won. It on attack deck, but it changes it in damage step. Yeah, I think you still would have won, but just less? I don't know. No, I don't think so, because if I go down to... If it has a damage step, I think both ways I lose, because you go uh -oh. up 2k there. What the fuck? Oh, okay, sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> that's, that's what? 
<laughs> Once per turn, you can play a turn. Monster Center gave all his cards on the field. It makes this card. Oh, okay. That is a weird effect. So it's it's a quick effect. <laughs> that's that's strange. Yeah. Okay, let's activate this. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's getting blown out by the branded fusion. <laughs> no, I think it has to be this one again. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, so let's go activate Preda Practice. Um, I will special summon this and add. See, I don't really know. Oh, I can't do that. What the hell is this? That's, okay. Yeah, I'll add Spinosaurus and then <laughs> yeah. normal summon him. Yeah. This deck is kind of crazy. No, it's insane. It's fucking unbelievable. It, you'll be. I, I don't know, but when you see my deck list, like I only have like one copy of a lot of these cards, but I didn't realize how like how consistent it was. Um, There's nothing we could do about this fucking deck. And then activate Palmerization, I think. And okay, maybe I should have read this card before I did this because if it has a downside, I didn't read it. But I fusion oh, summon. Gr oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh god. Um, oh, your no. Okay, okay, that, that doesn't do anything. Yeah, yeah. No, you. Battle dude, I phase. Can't, I can't beat this fucking card. Wow, oh, man, no. Predator plants are kind of crazy. Oh, this was nuts. What the hell? Like, I, I'm actually in disbelief. I did not think this deck was that good when I put the deck together. Like, the cards seemed individually powerful, but also like they needed like two or three cards to work. But um. Wow. Crazy. I don't even think you saw oh like God. how good my deck was yet. I had um, I mean I, it looks it looked all right from what I watched. Yeah, yeah. No, but I had uh okay. I had I, I do have Anaconda. It just never came Dog. up. Um but yeah, one, just like one oh. copy of a lot of the the Preda Plant cards. Look at this chat. <laughs> oh my god. You are playing only the good cubic cards. You couldn't have bricked on Ascension. We couldn't have never. got you to brick on Ascension. Never, never. Wow, you're you are really only playing the good cubic cards. Yeah, this deck was. I almost missed. Chat helped me, but I almost missed that Preda Planning can send a level five guy because I read the level five guy as like the first card I read and then completely dismissed it. And then the this was like the last card I read, so I'd forgotten about it at that time. But holy shit, this deck's crazy. What did your deck look like? You didn't have. It looked fine. It, I mean, it it looked like this. Um. We didn't have the field spell, which was big, uh, and uh, we didn't pull Dark Templar at Ignister, but we got a couple Fire Phoenix. Like that was the plan. Okay. Just uh, never really materialized. Yeah. Uh, I I didn't realize how bad it would be, but we only have thirteen like four star monsters, and Gachiri, Gusari, and Danmari are all like extenders. Yeah, they all require so, one on board. Were you breaking yeah, on those? Yeah. If we can't find any of these, we just fucking die, and that's what happened. Yeah. Oh my. Yeah. Only two Picari, and only two of the man. That's rough.